Hey Mzanzi, yo, former South African President Tawumbeki has made explosive revelations that could rewrite the history of one of South Africa's darkest chapters. The brutal xenophobic attacks in Alexandra in 2008 were not just a random act of violence, they were part of a larger orchestrated plan to influence Zimbabwe's elections. According to Tawumbeki, the xenophobic violence that erupted in Alexandra that year was not a spontaneous event, it was a carefully executed strategy to force Zimbabwean nationals out of South Africa so they could go and vote against Robert Mugabe. Tabombeki says there's an intelligence report that he had access to as a president. This report contains names, dates and details of meetings where this plot was hatched. The intention was clear, manipulate the Zimbabwean election by sending Zimbabwean nationals back to vote. If this report is accurate, it reveals a disturbing strategy. The idea that xenophobic attacks were used as a political tool to influence another country's election is something that challenges our understanding of that period. In March 2008, Zimbabwe held general elections where neither Morgan Chivangarai or Robert Mugabe secured a 50% majority. A runoff election was scheduled for June that year. At the same time, violence exploded in Alexandra and spread across Gauteng. Could these events be linked? This attack was presented as a random attack by people of Alexandra, but it was wrong. It was organized, systematic, and used for political purpose. Mbeki's revelations open up many questions about the true nature of the 2008 xenophobic attacks. Was this simply a case of misplaced anger and violence, or were there deeper political motives at play? Guys, please let us know your thoughts down below in the comment section. We would love to hear from you. Until next time, Zanzi, stay tuned for everything Zanzi.